to the second episode of Biscuits of Britain and Beyond New Zealand. If you watched my first video on this, you will know what is on the biscuit plate today. Before we do that, I shall make my cup of tea. Popped tea, should I say. From now on, when I pour my tea, I'm going to take this off because this is so noisy and it rattles around. It's not very secure. She boiled water. Let's see what's on the biscuit plate today. <clears throat> so we have some cookie bear shrewsbury. Now looking at these, um, they're basically jammy dodgers. But will they taste like a Jammy Dodgers? Uh, last time I had um, oh, the Mallow Puffs and Toffee somethings, Toffee Pops, I think they were called um, Colliders or Collision? Collisions, I think. Something like that anyway. And I thought they'd taste like tonics and they didn't, so I could be totally wrong with these. Now these I'm looking forward to. They are chocolate and coconut and I adore ginger and the second thing I adore after ginger is coconut. So I'm really really looking forward to these biscuits.
told me how to hold this properly actually Just this really was like that so you see how you've got you can obviously put this curve here and I thought this was to put it, your finger against it's actually this you put your finger kind of straight out so like just like that probably not probably easier Feeling I've already showed you that. the Shrewsbury first. This is out of five. Yeah, I like the lighter, um, more high-pitched crinkles, the tissue paper, I love that, but this Although, <clears throat> although it seems that they have different, although it seems it has similar wrappers on the outside, the sound of the wrappers all depends on what is inside and the type of um, packaging that's on the inside. So the exact same wrapper can sound completely different. I've opened them up and uh, the Shrewsbury I've got a hair got a stray hair hanging somewhere oh they're cute this is what 
feet through his ribs like very like a jammy dodger well it doesn't look like a jammy dodger it's similar it's got the hole with the jam in it smells um oh, it smells like a biscuit i know i don't know like an old-fashioned biscuit I can't place it. So I'm going to go with the crunch. Yum. There's barely anything. I'll give it a one. No texture. just dawned on me. I should probably do taste first because I am technically tasting them and then pick apart the rest of them. I'll do that with them. Texture. Hmm. it's got no crunch um it's very 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 crumbly a little bit soft but i love the jam on the inside the jam when you start getting to the jam it makes it chewy and lovely texture i would say a, a three i liked the texture Now taste. They're very, very similar to a jammy dodger. The biscuit is, um, the biscuit's surprisingly similar, like very, very close, even though it's got a different texture. The jam, the, the jam is, um, it's not very strong. In a jammy dodger, it's quite strong, and even though it's a, a very fake, synthetic taste, it's nice, it suits a biscuit. But that, can't really taste the jam. It's nice. I will be scoffing this packet later on, but it's not amazing. I'd say hmm, I'd say a five. And that's not a bad score. It's not horrible. No, five point five. I'm gonna give it a 5.5. It was nice. Although I do prefer jammy dodges ever so slightly. Or shall I give jammy dodges as, as small as go? Um, it's just the the jam isn't very strong on this one. So we're going to go with the taste first, with this, seeing as all tasting is essentially the most important switch. So I should try and show you. These are all um, snapped. Are they all, are they meant to be like that? No, they're not like that. There's a 
hole in its bottom. So that's what they look like. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they smell amazing. <laughs> mm, I'm looking forward to these. Quite a plain design. Um, that's obviously the coconut biscuit and then the chocolate on the back. Gonna have a bite of this last one. God, these are amazing. They are so good. Out of all the biscuits I got, I probably would have pinned those as not my least favourite, but not the best because like the other wrappers, they're all fancy wrappers and they're not really fancy. I've essentially judged a book by its cover. I've judged a biscuit by its wrapper. They are my favourite. <laughs> out of all the four biscuits I've tried. Those ones, winning flavour, wow. And um, taste. I need another taste. chocolate you can barely taste the chocolate it's there for like texture and just to add something subtly it's not overpowering um but the coconut oh my goodness like is it toasted coconut Coconut is divine. I think it it could be toasted coconut because I've had a lot of coconut biscuits in the past and oh my goodness, these are lovely. Taste. I think I'm going to give them an eight. They are delicious, really delicious. They're definitely not a 10. There is a biscuit out there somewhere in this world. That's a 10, no, 8.5. I'm giving them an 8.5, they're that good. So, texture and crunch. Texture. No, well, crunch was harder. The bite was harder than I expected, but it was nice. It wasn't like a rough snap. I would give the crunch on this a uh, Mm. 
3.5 or a 4? I'll give it a 3.5. Texture is a four. Um, you've got the smoothness of the chocolate underneath and the biscuit is firm and crispy and when you you crunch it it kind of crumbles roughly in your mouth um, it doesn't get soggy quickly um, it's it's kind of like um see if you made a biscuit with granola it's kind of like that it's got that roughage but it's it's lovely four definitely I've got a funny feeling it will fail miserably on the dunk test could be wrong I am wrong a lot of the time but I just feel like it's it's the type of biscuit that is just going to soak up the water and disintegrate. Prove me wrong. Water's freshly boiled. So we're going to do the Shrewsbury first. Stay on that closer. Oh no, don't worry. One, two. I think bits are coming off, but we could definitely go for a double. We're done. Just need to focus in a little bit more. Pretty well, so as you can see, it's um, it's definitely done. So the Shrewsbury gets a three for a double dunk. Don't let me down, Choco Crispy. Don't let me down. We shouldn't even dunk you, I should just eat you. One, two. Oh, look. Hello? No? Hmm. That's, um... No, I'm saying it wouldn't be able to go for a double dunk. It's made it back. Three, two. See if I, I did it straight away, it could go for a double dunk, but it's starting to take up the tea. So I would actually say it only gets a two. Um, Just having, having it for science purposes.
definitely some favouritism going on. Well, Lauren, you have introduced me <laughs> to a biscuit that they don't sell in my country that I love. I would be overjoyed if these biscuits were sold in Tesco, but I've never seen them. So you have just opened the doors to one of the most amazing biscuits I've ever tried and then slammed it shut because they're not sold in England. Thanks. And these are not going to last five minutes. No, my goodness. So. With 16.5, can't remember what the, um, oh, bubbling. can't remember what the other two biscuits scored, but I put the scoreboard up. So the 16.5 is the New Zealand version of Jammy Dodgers, the Shrewsbury, Cookie Bear Shrewsbury. And with a whopping 20.5 and I know for a fact in first place of the um, non-British biscuits this bad boy takes the lead I know tell me about how nice they are they're delicious they are so I feel a little bit like when um when I sent ephemeral rift oh what was it that I sent him an Eccles cake when I sent him some food I sent him an Eccles cake and out of all the things he tried he loved the Eccles cake and I kind of feel a little bit like him now he's discovered he discovered something that he loved that you know is sold over here and I've just discovered these and they're not sold here. Griffins. Griffins, please can you contact Tesco and sell these over here? Because I'll, I'll buy them. I'll buy lots of them. Okay, I'm going to go and spend some quality time with my Choc Crispy. They are toasted, delicious toasted coconut with a tasty chocolate base. Yep. I'm going to go and spend some uh, quality time with my newfound biscuit love. And uh, I'll be back next time with either biscuits from beyond or biscuits from Britain. I don't know which yet. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I certainly did. And I'll see you next time. Bye.